So you're interested in creating a report in StatCrunch. There are a couple of ways to begin. Um, first of all, though, you have to start with the data that you want to be talking about. So I need to go to the data that I am going to report on. So I'm going to click on My Data, and I am going to create a report on M&M &M, M &M stuff. So if I come over here, I have a data table which opens up and it's going to list for me the category of M&Ms, their frequency along with their relative frequency distribution that I um, created because I'd already I already calculated the frequency and I calculated the relative frequency and I saved this data table. Now within this data table I might want to look at a bar graph so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look at a bar graph and when I create the bar graph for the frequency distribution of my M&Ms, I end up with something that looks something like this. When you create a graph, in order to put it into your report, you have to save it. So I'm going to save this graph as and it came up for me right here, save the results. I'm going to save it as M&M frequency bar frequency. Okay, um, I don't care if you want to share this with everyone, but I'm just going to call it that so I can easily find it when I go to the report. So I'm going to save it. Now, the next thing I might want to create is a pie chart. So I'm going to create a pie chart really fast um, of my M&M distribution. Uh, I'm going to put the count. Maybe I want the percent total also. I don't know. I'm going to put it all in there. Compute, and here we have a pretty uh, pie, pie chart as well. So I'm going to save this. Uh, I'm going to call this M&M pie chart. Now, now that I have everything I want to include in my report saved, the charts, um, you know, the pictures, along with the data table, I'm going to go back to my StatCrunch homepage. So I'm going to click on my StatCrunch here. And from this starting spot, I am going to either go to My Reports or create a new report. I'm going to go to My Reports because I want to point something out to you. If you forget how to create a report, there's also a video tutorial in addition to the one you're watching right now to create a report. So I want to create a new report and I'm going to call mine M&Ms. M&Ms. And you can come back and you can edit any of this sharing stuff that's in here later. Let's go down to the body of my report. So in the body of my report, you generally want to start off with some sort of introduction about what you are um, about what you are reporting on. Okay, like an introductory paragraph. And then after that, I may want to introduce a set of data or the data table that I want you all to be or the, that I want it to show in the report. So uh, the following is the um, frequency distribution table frequency distribution table for a packet of M&Ms for a packet of M&Ms, right? You're going to do much better at typing this when you don't have any time constraints. So put a period there. Now if I want the data table to show up underneath the description that I have given, there's only two commands that you have to put in here. This is my first data table, so I'm going to call it data1. Now data1, I'm going to scroll down here, and I have two places to put data and uh, something else. I, have, I can attach data sets down here, or I can attach results like graphs and um, stuff like that. So we're talking about data set one. Now remember I told you to name it something you could go find. And hopefully I can find what I named. Yep, it was M&Ms. That was the data set. Now watch how it's going to populate that here in StatCrunch. It's loading my M&Ms data set for me. And this is indeed what you were just looking at on the previous screen. So yep, that's what I want. Now I'm going to go up here and it's going to show up in place of this word right here. It will actually show up the data set, but we'll see that in a minute. Now the next thing I may want to enter is uh, below 
um, are the uh, bar uh, below is the, because I'm going to put one in there, is the frequency bar graph for the data or whatever it is you want to say. Now, just like I had one data set, this point is going to be result one, result one. So if I only put one graph in here or one chart or something like that, then I call it result one. Now down here I have the option. Result one is going to be my, I find my name that I saved it as, it's going to be my bar frequency graph. Now since I'm down here, I'm already, I'm going to go ahead and assign result two to be my pie chart. So those are the two graphs that I want to insert in here. So below is the frequency bar graph for the data. So I have an introduction for my data that, or for the picture that's going to show up in my report. Um, I also have a pie chart. And remember that was saved as result two. Now once you have all of your data and your charts in here and you're, you're writing along, then you may be asked to um, give a conclusion or answer some sort of question. And that's where we're going to either answer a question, uh, give a conclusion uh, for the report, something that is going to summarize either the information you've been asked to show or summarize the report that you've been asked to give. And we're gonna, we can type it in right there. After you're done entering all of this information in above you, then you could pick some little fancy thumbnail if you wanted to, but I'm just going to hit save. And you can see here that this is what your report looks like. Its title is M&Ms. Uh, the introduction is given right here, what I was typing, and then the following is the frequency distribution table. So in other words, this was the data that I had. Coming down here, is my introductory sentence for my picture for the first graph. Here I have another sentence for my second graph. And then I have the conclusion at the bottom. If I wanted to go back in and edit any of this material, I could just edit it from the report properties right here. And that's how you create a report in StatCrunch.